Hello everyone. Today in this Vectors lesson, we would like to talk about how can we find out the tension in a string which is a part of a simple pendulum when the pendulum is pulled a little horizontally. Let us consider a scenario like this. There is a rigid support. There is an inextensible string to which there is a heavy metal bob of point size. It's right now in the state of rest. Now we are applying a horizontal force on it. As we are applying the force on it, as the upper part is fixed, it shifts its position. Let the bob has shifted its position like this. Because we have applied a horizontal force F on this. Let it is turned by an angle theta. Let us consider the other forces acting on the bob at the given instant. We know the bob is having a certain mass. So its weight because of the gravitational force always acts in downward direction. Now the string became tight. There is a tension. At that instant, at that particular instant where all this is happening, assume the bob is in instantaneous equilibrium position. As the bob is in an instantaneous equilibrium position, we can say the three forces are balancing themselves and the bob is in equilibrium position. So what I can say? It instantaneous equilibrium position. The resultant force acting on the bob is zero. The F resultant acting on the bob equal to zero. So let us say what can be done. Let us see what can be done. So if I have extended this angle a little further, this is the same line. Is the same vertical, so this angle also is going to be theta. So I can say, I can resolve this tension into components. I can resolve this tension into components. How can I resolve this into components? Simple. As this angle is theta, this angle is also going to be theta. This tension now has two components. It is adjacent component, therefore it will become cos theta. It is the opposite component, therefore it will become sin theta. As the system is in equilibrium condition, I can say the T cos theta is balancing mg and the T sin theta is balancing the applied horizontal force. That is why the system is in equilibrium position. Let us divide them T sin theta by T cos theta equal to f by mg so t and t gets cancels so tan theta is simply f by mg so i can calculate how much horizontal force is applied if i know the angle and if i know the mass of the body as mg tan theta and suppose if i am interested in calculating how much tension is there it's very clear i have already written the cost component is nothing but equal to mg. So tension is nothing but equal to mg by cos theta. Thus, if you know theta, we can calculate tension and we can also calculate the horizontal force applied on the body. And theta is a mathematical measurement that we can make when we have applied force. It makes certain vertical displacement. And we can also make one more point that uh, these three forces being in equilibrium, what we can say? Let us have a look at the scenario. This is the bob I am redrawing the diagram. This is the force acting on the body. Horizontal force we have applied. This is the weight that is always acting in the downward direction. This is the string which is having a tension and the system and the point is in equilibrium. I can apply triangle of the vectors. As the point is in equilibrium, I can rewrite these vectors as the three sides of a triangle just like this like we have applied earlier this is nothing but equal to f this is nothing but equal to mg this is nothing but equal to the tension so what i have done i have just shifted the vectors parallelly i have not changed any of these directions this is where the tension is this is where the mg is this is where the force is so i have not changed any of their magnitude or direction I have just shifted the vectors parallelly. 
shifting a vector parallel is not going to affect its size as well as direction in any way not going to affect it as it's a triangle i can write now t square equal to f square plus mg whole square this is another way of finding out the tension i can write a formula t is nothing but applied f square and a mg square so there are two ways to calculate the tension if i know the theta this is the way if i know the f this is the way like this we can calculate the tension so we are applying the resolution of the vector concept here as well as the triangle of the vectors here thank you